going into my first listing appointment, so many things that I did wrong. There are some things I did right. But I'm going to walk you guys through it, take you guys along with me, and explain everything that you guys should do when it comes to your first listing appointment. Let's get right into the video. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Kabidi. I'm a realtor in the state of Pennsylvania with Century 21 Realty Services. And in today's video, I'm going to explain to you guys everything that I did right and everything I did wrong when it came to my first listing appointment. And you know, before we start, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, go subscribe if you're not subscribed, turn that bell button on so you guys never miss an upload. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So going into this listing appointment, I want to tell you guys like the backstory of how it all came to be. And it started with me going through Zillow and looking at the all, all the for sale by owners. But I wasn't looking at the newer ones, I was looking at the older ones because the older ones seem more desperate to sell and more desperate to sell with a real estate agent because they haven't been able to sell on their own yet. So I was looking at the older ones, came across this property, got the phone number on Zillow, called them up real quick saying, hey, um, I had a little script. I can't remember what it was now because I haven't been calling for sell by owners, but um, called him. We had a great conversation on the phone. I was able to make an appointment with him and that's what you guys want to do. You want to strive to make that appointment. Okay, so it was like a few days later, we had that appointment and the thing that he told me is his wife passed away and he told me that on the phone. And me being a new real estate agent, I have to think about my safety. All, every real estate agent has to think about their safety, but me being a female and going to an appointment and it's just a guy, you gotta consider that and think about, you know, possibilities of what could happen. Okay, so, a friend of mine, another new real estate agent, he actually came along with me. So um, that was great. And he came along, he was a little bit later when we went to the appointment. And when we went, I was there like five minutes early, knocked on the door, we started talking, and then he started showing me around like, you know, the first floor a little bit. And then the other agent came a little bit later, you know, about 10 minutes later, which was fine. And then I saw in the corner that he had like a really huge parrot. And I was like, man, that's like a great conversation starter as well. Because guys, when you are there at the house, uh, the seller's house, you want to look around to see like any main things that stand out that you can bring up and that you may relate to. Because I was able to relate to him having a parrot because before I used to have a parrot key, those little, <laughs> those little ones. And, you know, it really helped in you know build that relationship even more so look around the house if they like sports if they uh, love to cook whatever it may be bring it up and ask them more about this more about it because the more they talk the more comfortable they'll feel with you so once the other agent came in uh, he started showing us around the whole property and explaining everything and you know why they put it there because he and his wife are the ones that actually built it so it means a lot to them um, just because they actually built it and then so we we look upstairs we look downstairs outside and then we come back in and then I say hey am I able to ask you a couple of questions so we sit down on the couch because uh, there was clutter everywhere um, it's a lot just because of the moving process it's a lot you know and it's just him so I asked him a couple of questions like, I'm trying to think, I asked them is price, are you more concerned about the price or the time? Cause you just want to see what, you know, if it's going to be an over list, um, if they just want price, they're going to over list it, you know, or if they just want time, time, if you get a short period of time, they're motivated. Now, if they, if they don't care about time, then they're not really motivated. But I asked questions around that and you know a few other questions but everything went well and then I said okay I told him I'll call him the next day to tell him about a CMA because I told him I would do a CMA on the property for him so we leave everything's good and then when I go to the office because we go to the office all the time and we talk about like you know they asked me how was the, the appointment how did it go and I was like it went really well and then they started asking me, how's the roof? How's the heating system? How's this? How's the, is it all hardwood floor? What is it? And then I paused. I was like, man, those are some good questions. Cause 
As a new agent, you guys are not gonna know, like me, you guys aren't gonna know what to ask and it takes time from experience and going on more appointments. But I was like, man, okay. So I realized that I need to ask those questions and I didn't even ask if there was a mortgage, if you had a mortgage or any liens on the property and you guys want to make sure you ask that as well. So going out of that, I want to tell you guys to prepare yourselves. Number one is when you go in there, look around the house, see what your seller likes, bring that up in the conversation, allow them to become more comfortable with you. Number two, guys, I recommend you guys bring a notebook. I did bring a notebook to have my questions down, but I didn't ask, you know, the right questions and I didn't write everything down. If it's a new kitchen, uh, if they have hardwood floor, um, everything. You wanna make sure you write everything down. So bring a notebook and a pen. And the thing that I did with this appointment, I made sure to do like a two stop, which is, you know, the first time is you go in, you see the property, get a better feel of it, get a better feel of the seller, and then you come back again, and then you explain everything about the CMA, you bring the listing of, uh, the listing presentation and the contract, you call it paperwork, um, the paperwork as well, and that would be the second stop, okay? So there, there's so many ways you can go about it. I've been doing two stops, um, but you can also do one stop and just bring everything and you know be ready but it really depends on the seller and how motivated they are whether you're talking to them on the phone or if you know them however it may be so it's really up to you and let me just say with this this listing this for sale by owner uh, he still is for sale by owner I have been in touch with him every almost every single week uh, following up with him checking in seeing how things are going because eventually he will he will want to list with a real estate agent and when he does, I want that agent to be me. So the goal is to keep having that follow up game on point and continue to follow up with them each and every day, not every day, but like every week <laughs> consistently just so he doesn't forget about me. But um, yeah, I hope this video helped you on understanding how to prepare yourself. So you want to ask the right questions, bring a notebook. Um, and that's basically it. Just don't be nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. You're just having a conversation with another human being and just getting a feel of the property. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. Let's get to 1,000 and keep growing from there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.